Some stocks just don't know when to quit. Look at MongoDB. That's MDB for you, home gamers. It's a cloud-based software company in the database management business. The thing has been a juggernaut. The stock is up 228%. That's right, 228 since we last spoke to the CEO less than a year ago. It's more than doubled for 2019. And while I don't like to chase stocks, you know that, that, that because some things are too hot, MongoDB held an annual user conference earlier this week where they rolled out a bunch of new data management and analytics services, and I like what I heard. Could this spectacular winner have even more upside? Let's dig deeper with Dev Itticharia. He's the president and CEO of MongoDB to learn more about his company's prospects. Dev, welcome back to the show. Good Thank to you, see you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, my first question, obviously, it's been an amazing investment for people. And what I, you know, I, I, what I like people to know, I want them to know what you're levered to, what you're doing, a little context, because people might just say, I don't know what that Mongo is, but I like it. I want them to know what that Mongo is. Sure. So if you think about what uh, software applications, every application has a database uh, where you store, process, and analyze information. What we are is a modern database, and the database has been around for 40, 50 years. What we are is a database designed for today's modern world, and that's why developers who are our primary users use our database to build these amazing applications, applications on your mobile device, applications at home, and also applications at work. Now, this week, uh, there was a lot of talk about... Uh, about your new product, about Atlas. And it seems like that you've gone from being a database to what I love, I'm always looking for, platform. Correct. Because a platform means you can be much bigger. So whatever the total addressable market was is just database, is now how much bigger that you're a platform? So one of the things that customers really love about MongoDB is that we really make it very easy to work with data. Developers find the biggest challenge with building applications is managing data, the flow, the synchronization, right. the management. And we just make it very simple. And with, with, with MongoDB, you can now, what customers said to us is you can now use our technology in other places. And they, and they basically came to us and said, we have data sitting everywhere. So we're using our same approach to manage data online to manage data offline. And that's okay. what we announced today with our Data Lake product. Okay, so uh, last time I'm on the Oracle conference call, and Oracle's when I think of database, I think of Oracle. And they're talking about winning business left and right and taking business from different companies. But they didn't talk about taking any business from you. Yeah. You're offering a more competitive product, a, a, comp a product that is cheaper and better, faster. What is it that you have the edge on? So we have a lot of respect for Oracle. Uh, they've been around for 40 plus years. They've stayed relevant, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, that is amazing. But, but candidly, um, the technology is, is 40 years old. That's pre-cloud, pre-mobile, and even pre-internet. And so what we have is a much more modern data platform. And that's why people are gravitating to MongoDB to build modern applications. And when it comes to numbers, um, based on what I saw, Oracle announced 1% revenue growth. MongoDB announced almost 80% revenue growth. So the tra trajectories of the two companies are very different. All right, so uh, let me put this to you. Oracle's got billions. They bought back billions of dollars of stock. They've got a great war chest. Why does all that money not matter versus MongoDB? Because the architecture of the products matters, right? And we've built a fundamentally different architecture that's designed for today's modern world. They built an architecture designed in the, in the late 70s for the world then, and they've just tried to I mean, make it better over time. We've built an architecture designed for today's high-performance mobile cloud computing world. Okay, in a high-performance mobile cloud computing world, I start thinking about Cisco. And I checked in with Chuck Robbins, the unbelievably good CEO yes. of Cisco, and I said, what do you think about MongoDB? He says, they are fabulous. What do you do for Cisco that he's so, he's so happy and proud to be using it? So Cisco actually had an issue where they had an order management application where they were collecting orders and when they closed the quarter, about, and they do about 50 billion a year, they were collecting orders from all these different uh, sales channels into this one application. And the problem with that application is that the data model was getting so complex because Cisco's business was so large. And they said, if it just doesn't scale, and if it goes down, I can't close my books, which would give the CFO a nightmare. So they basically... Kelly Kramer, <laughs> you get very angry. <laughs> yes. And so they basically replatformed off relational to MongoDB. And since then, they've never had an outage, even though they've had system and network failures, because MongoDB, by definition, is a distributed database that's designed for high performance, fault tolerance environments. Well, it's for you to get that business, that is a great, a great worldwide company, so you're doing right. But I've got another great worldwide company that I'm interested in knowing about, the one I work for. What do you do for us? Um, you know, we have over 14,000 customers, so I don't have all the use cases <laughs> memorized. But one thing I will say is that our customers end up being some of the most sophisticated and demanding customers in the world. Big media companies, right. 
telecom they companies. They all seem to use you. Yes. Gaming uh, and media likes you. Gaming, media, financial services. We have almost every bank on Wall Street um, um, using us in some way, shape, or form. Um, tech companies themselves. And then we have companies like startups who are basically building their entire business on MongoDB. So we feel very good about our value proposition given the wide variety of customers, the wide variety of use cases, and also the wide variety of geographies. We have customers literally all over the world. What do I tell people who say, oh, thanks a lot, Jim. I wish I had bought, bought that stock last time. When I say, I think it's early, but I need some ammo to prove that it's early for our viewers. Well, when you think about the major secular trends going on, one, every company is becoming a software company. More software means more data, means more databases. Right. Second, developers who are the primary builders of that software have enormous power and influence today in terms of how technology decisions are made. And so developers love MongoDB. We are the most mo popular modern database in the world. Third, you have the biggest platform shift going on right now from the move from on-prem to the cloud. We are designed for the cloud. So even Amazon, Google, and Microsoft came to us and told us we are one of the most popular technologies on their cloud platform. So given those secular trends, we're quite bullish about the opportunity I, in front of us. I want people to understand that that does not happen, okay? Those three do not all endorse one. Uh, because it's just usually, it's highly unusual that somebody's that good that all of those competitive companies like them. Okay, that's Dev Eddie Cherry. And, and, and I got to tell you, guys, when you, uh, when you buy something like what, De what Dev Cherry, Cherry is doing, Eddie Cherry is doing, you have to own it, okay? But you have to know what it does because it's going to go down. Dev, your stock has been wild some days. I don't want people to sell it when it happens. I want you to buy it. Mr. Eddie Cherry, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Jim. Good to see you. Stay with me. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.